Welcome back to another installment of Underappreciated. Today's installment is about a man whose name ring bells in the New York City basketball scene back in the day. Whether it was his ability to score or his aggressive play on both ends of the court, you knew who Ron Artest was if you were in tune with the basketball scene. Ron Artest, now known as Meta Sandiford Artest, is a product of Queensbridge Projects in Long Island City, New York. He played his high school hoops at LaSalle Academy. He also played AAU ball with Elton Brand and Lamar Odom. Imagine you're a high schooler and you have to go up against the likes of Ron Artest, Elton Brand, and Lamar Odom. The thought of it alone is insane. In 1997, Meta was a McDonald's All-American and was named to the second team of the Parade All-American team. As you can see, he was no slouch in the high school rankings. He went on to play for St. John's University from 1997 to 1999. He led the Red Storm to a 14-4 record in the famous Big East Conference. They were 28-9 overall and made it to the Elite Eight where they would lose to Ohio State. Meadow was also known for playing in New York City in some of its high-profile summer leagues, like Nike Pro City, Hoops in the Sun, and Dykeman. This is where he earned his nickname True Warrior and the New World Order. The New World Order name was given to him by the co-founder of Hoops in the Sun, Randy Cruz. He goes on to the league and gets drafted by the Chicago Bulls at the 16th pick of the 1999 NBA draft. He averaged 12.5 points per game and 4 rebounds per game during his time in Chicago, starting the majority of his games while he was there. He was named to the NBA All-Rookie second team. Halfway through the season, he was traded to the Pacers. This is where we see Meta really find his footing as a professional basketball player. During the 2003-2004 season with the Pacers, he averaged 18.3 points per game, 5.7 rebounds per game, and 3.7 assists per game. He was named an All-Star as a reserve and was named Defensive Player of the Year. He wore three different numbers as a Pacer, numbers 15, 23, and 91. Of course, after the malice at the Palace occurred, he was traded to the Kings. His arrival to the Kings is what they needed because they were weak defensively. The team immediately went on a 14-5 and run, the best the team had all season. Unfortunately, he was suspended game two of the team's first round series against the Spurs, who later eliminated the Kings in six games. He had a quick stint with the Rockets, which led to a playoff berth, but didn't really lead to anything. In July of 2009, he signed with the Lakers, and that's where Meta began winning at a high level. Not only was he doing what he does defensively, but offensively, he was a menace. During the playoff run for the Lakers, he was averaging over 20 points per game, even even hitting game winners in the process. He won his very first and only championship with the Lakers. He would go on to play for the Knicks, Sichuan Blue Whales of China, and a team in Italy before returning to the Lakers in 2015-2017. During this time, he got his 1,000 716th and 1,717th career steals to move past Ron Harper for the 22nd place in NBA history. Meadow would go on to play elsewhere in other leagues domestically. From 2017 to 2018, he was a development coach for the South Bay Lakers in the G League, a two-time All-NBA defensive first team and two-time All-NBA defensive second team shows you how much his defensive prowess was respected. His career averages are 13.2 points per game, 4.5 rebounds per game, 2.7 assists per game, 41.4% from the field, 71.5% from free throw, an NBA champion, a defensive player of the year, multiple defensive team accolades, and one year in the conversation of being MVP. A 19-season career with those accolades, you would think this man would be appreciated more. Well, he's respected and acknowledged on this side of things. Salute to Meta Sanford Artest. Let me know in the comments who you think I should feature next on Underappreciated. Thank you all for watching. Please be sure to hit that like button, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel, click the notification bell, then select all to get every single notification. I'm DSP. This is underappreciated. Y'all be safe. Peace.